Hey guys, Rob here at 3D Printscape. So Cura 412 Beta just came out, so I wanted to do a video covering what's new in it. Uh, they actually have some pretty cool new things that were added. Uh, it's more than just a UI enhancement, which is basically the last upgrade. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go through the install process, show you how to actually get it, and then talk about what's new and more detail in the interface. Uh, there's a couple things particularly I wanted to point out though. Uh, the first one is they added additional supports or uh, I guess enhancements on the top layer settings, horizontal print settings, and then they added a new lightning infill, which is pretty cool as well. It's almost like tree supports-ish where it creates that structure like a tree, uh, but it stays hollow towards the bottom and it only comes out really to support the top of the print. Uh, so I'll show you that in more detail. We'll go into preview mode and show exactly what it's doing. Uh, but if you're printing something that has a large top surface, uh, that could be pretty good for you. I'll also be updating my profiles uh, when we get closer to the actual release. Uh, so keep an eye out for those. And if you have any questions about what's been discussed or would like to see any other videos, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. All right, so now let's jump over to the computer. All right, guys, so we're here at the computer and on Cura's site. As you can see here, Cura 412 is out in beta. It's been out for a couple days now. I'm going to walk through how you actually get it, go through a couple of the changes, and then uh, kind of give you my thoughts on it so far. All right, so when you go to the Cura download page, just go to try Cura 412 beta. Uh, once it's actually released GA, you'll be able to get it from here. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and go there. That opened up the Cura GitHub page, and as you can see here, the 412 beta was released about four days ago. Uh, when this video goes live, that'll probably be uh, another day, so probably uh, it's been out for about five days. Uh, to me, the three biggest improvements here uh, that the average hobbyists are going to notice is going to be the lightning infill, um, the improved top quality, and the horizontal print quality. Uh, the lightning infill is pretty cool. It's really focused on building up the supports for the top surface and not using much of an infill throughout the actual print itself. Uh, I'll drop a actual object into Cure here after we do the install and show you what that looks like. The improved top surface quality is really just tweaking some of the monotonic settings uh, to get a little bit better results. Uh, it's helping to remove some of the scarring. Um, I noticed a small difference on a sample set of three. Um, I just did three little prints just to see if it did anything or not. Um, so there definitely was a little bit of a difference and it's just a profile tweak. Uh, so overall, it's pretty good for what it is. And that said, I'll be updating my profiles when this gets closer to release. And then they made some other tweaks. They didn't really say where, I'm assuming also in the profiles, um, but it reduces ringing and helps prove the overall quality on horizontal prints. Uh, I'll show you the page here in a couple minutes once we get through the install. Uh, it kind of goes into that a little bit more or just get, shows you some visual examples at least. And then the app switcher, if you're using a lot of the Cure Maker apps, you can go between them pretty easily. Uh, but for most of us hobbyists, I don't think that's going to be a big difference. And then they've optimized some of the caching to get us faster startup. Um, but again, not a huge difference here. And then, like always, Cure did add a lot of bug fixes in. Uh, they've been pretty good about that in general. Uh, overall, their release cadence has been pretty good, especially for a free product. All right, so let's go ahead and get the install. Just scroll down to the bottom of the GitHub page and go ahead and download the file for the version that you're running. Uh, so for me, I'm running Windows, so I'm just going to download this one here. And then once that's downloaded, we'll go ahead and launch it. The install itself is pretty straightforward. If you have previous versions of Cura installed, it's going to ask if you want to uninstall them. I'm just going to hit no to both. And then uh, you can go ahead and use default settings going through the actual installer. So just next, agree. Of course, I read that in that time. Uh, next, next, install. All right, and then when that's done, just go ahead and hit finish, and it's going to launch Cura. All right, now that that's launched, it's going to talk about some of the new things here. Um, this is what I was talking about with the improved top quality. Uh, here is the lightning infill, which again is pretty sweet. I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, the app switcher, if you're using a lot of their apps, it could come in handy. 
And then they have a little bit more detail here on their blog post. So I'm going to open that up real quick. Uh, this is what I wanted to show you in a little bit more detail. This one's pretty straightforward because it's a profile based and it makes sense. Here is where I was talking about the improved horizontal print quality. You can see the difference here between 411 and 412 where 412 does look a little bit better just overall. And we're not talking day and night differences here in print quality. Uh, we're talking marginal improvements, but these improvements are coming just from uh, little tweaks, um, I think, in the profile and potentially in the back end. So for what it is, uh, just marginal improvements with no real uh, impact on us, I'll take it. All right, and then here's kind of the lightning infill again, which I'll show you uh, with one of the models I'll drop in. Uh, but it's basically just using a little bit at the bottom and kind of building the base up so that the top has uh, a surface to print on. All right, so let's go back over to Cura. I just hit next here. Now, if you haven't used Cura before, don't already have profiles set up, uh, it's going to walk you through adding a printer. Uh, so you want to go through that. If you haven't done that before, uh, I'll link to the guide I did on adding the Ender 3 Pro in there. Uh, that should get you started. All right, so let me go ahead and drop a model here. All right, so I went ahead and dropped Thanos in here. Let's go ahead and switch the infill from um, Cubic to Lightning, and I'll kind of show you what it does. Well, let me go ahead and slice it first with Cubic, just so we have a comparison point. All right, let's jump over to preview. And then on a 20% infill, um, just cubic, it's going to have that same infill pattern all the way up. So you got basically a strong surface here or a strong infill pattern uh, that's all the way up. You're using quite a bit of infill here. As you see, we're at uh, 20 hours and 7 minutes. Let's switch that over to lightning and slice it again. All right, then as you can see, just right off the bat, it took quite a bit of time off of the print, but it's not going to give you as strong of an infill because a lot of it's pretty hollow. All right, so if we go to the bottom here, it's building out the bottom, then leaving it open, and then it's starting to build the lightning, uh, almost like a uh, tree support inside of it. And then it's creating those uh, off of the walls to create any type of uh, support for the overheads here. Then as you go up, you're going to start seeing more and more until you get to the head and the top area where it's going to have more of the structure for it to actually print things based on, just like that. It really reminds me quite a bit of tree supports where it's just printing what's needed. Um, but again, this is going to leave you with a hollow print. Uh, so depending upon what you're printing, that might be fine. Uh, you, might, you can also uh, just change the number of exterior walls um, switch it from like three to four that might give you enough actual support or strength for the print uh, just depends what you're going to be doing with it all right so that pretty much covers what i wanted to go over with the new version of cura if you have any questions or would like to see any other videos go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on discord and then like i mentioned i'll update my profiles and have those available before this goes ga or right around the time this goes ga all right guys so that covers cura 412 as i mentioned uh, it is in beta right now um, based on previous releases it'll probably be ga in i don't know three to four weeks maybe less hard to say for sure uh, if anything major changes between now and GA, I'll update the video description or create another video covering those changes if it warrants it. If you have any questions about what we covered or like to see any other videos, go ahead and leave a comment below. Thanks.